Another Panda Express favorite. Time to put it to bed. Okay, so today we're making the Panda Express Beijing beef. What is it? It seems like a riff off of some sort of Mongolian beef, but not quite really. It's beef thinly sliced, fried, and then coated in a sauce, which I suspect is just a sauce that they've reused from elsewhere. We're gonna taste test, find out, you know how this all works. So with all that being said, let's make this, shall we? Oh my God, it's Panda Express. So we're here. It's Kind of bop it. I'm just gonna go inside because I can't go to the drive thru. We got it. I go in there and I was like, you know, I didn't realize they're actually using like woks and I see them stir frying and adding sauces. Like maybe they're doing it better than I thought. And I got the last bit of Beijing beef and he pulls out just this huge bag and just pours out all this lifeless, colorless, just pre fried beef, which I get from an operational standpoint, genius. It looked like whenever you remove the pancreas from a science experiment in science class. But bread. Anyway, let's go. So we got the bog. Real ingredients, freshly prepared. I would say this statement is relatively accurate. Relatively. They go, he's white, he needs a fork. Come on, man. It looks all right, floppier than anticipated. No distinct smells. Sort of just like that nondescript Panda Express sweet sauce. I would argue that it's all the same thing, but just slightly different. I'm confused. Pause. It's not bad, so everybody relax. This is just orange chicken with spicy chili flakes in it. It just is. This is the orange chicken sauce. Panda, don't you be fooling me. Just order the orange chicken, all right? They're bad either way, it doesn't matter. So instead we're gonna make what I think that they were actually going for. Listen, this might as well be a butt faster, brother, because you can definitely make this before you go to Panda Express and back, but that's not the point, okay? I get it. Now, to begin, you'll need about one and a half pounds or 680 grams of flank steak or ribeye. If you wanna be real fancy. Since mine was so big, I sliced it in half to make it more manageable and then just sliced that bad boy into half inch thick strips against the grain. So you get those nice Add your beef to a bowl, season generously with salt to taste, half a teaspoon or half a gram of ground white pepper, one inch knob of ginger grated, then just toss together until combined. Now we need to set up our breading station. What? You can't bread beef. Yes, I can, and I'm almost certain that theirs is breaded too. Anyway, for your breading station, you'll need one egg along with one and a half tablespoons or 22 grams of water. Whisk together and that's your egg wash. Then for the flour dredge, in a medium mixing bowl, combine half a cup or 70 grams of cornstarch, three quarters of a cup or 113 grams of all-purpose flour and a generous pinch of salt. Whisk together and wow, Okay, we're almost ready to cook and assemble, but listen, we never start a stir fry without our sauce sitting on the side waiting for us. Get a medium sized bowl, add half a cup or 120 milliliters of water, a quarter cup or 57 grams of granulated sugar, one tablespoon or 14 grams of light soy sauce, two tablespoons or 28 grams of dark soy sauce, two tablespoons or 27 grams of white distilled vinegar, and optional one tablespoon or 15 grams of Chinese black vinegar, two tablespoons or 33 grams of ketchup. Yeah, yeah, hear me out, pal. Okay, makes sense. Two tablespoons or 33 grams of sriracha, a third cup or 80 milliliters of hoi and sauce, half a teaspoon or two grams of finely ground Sichuan peppercorns, albeit also optional, but it'll give you that light tap in the pants that nobody else can. Whisk together till combined and that's your sauce for your little stir fry. Okay, it's cook and assembly time. For your beef, get a large wok, fill it with vegetable oil, about halfway up, heat to 350 Fahrenheit, carefully lower in your beef and fry in batches until very light golden and crisp morsels of beef emerge. Drain that on a wire rack and repeat with the rest of your beef. Once everything's fried, pour out your oil, wipe your wok clean, and add another three tablespoons or 30 grams of vegetable oil. Heat that over medium high till the oil is hotter than my sandy cheeks. Then add in a lovely mixture of one red bell pepper cut into one inch pieces and one yellow onion cut into one inch pieces also. Season that lightly with salt and stir fry aggressively for good old fashioned Uncle Roger approved wok hay and oh don't worry we're going after him real soon. Anyway once your veg begins to lightly brown and the onion starts to turn translucent add in all of your sauce along with one teaspoon or four grams of fine ground chili flakes such as heaven facing or goju garu. Stir and boil that over medium high and let it reduce for two minutes. Now while that's reducing in a small bowl combine two teaspoons or five grams of cornstarch and two teaspoons or 12 grams of water. Whisk together and that's well a slurry. Once your sauce is reduced, whisk in half of your slurry, chicken for thickness, and if it's not quite thick to your liking, then well, further add the rest. Now, once you have a beautiful glaze, add in your beef, toss aggressively to coat every little nook and cranny. I want no uncoated pieces of beef in this thing. Now, once coated, cut off the heat and finish that bad boy with the JW Signature Extra Garlic at the end, which is three cloves of finely chopped garlic, tossed until thoroughly coated and Get a bowl, lay down some steaming hot boy rice, layer on your buff, and let's see who our winner is today. 
Wow, look at that. I didn't really get an idea of how goopy this looked until I made this. I know the first comments gonna be like, well, Josh, they're sat, you're blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. This was sitting far before I even walked into the doors of Panda Express, okay? You already know how this went. The tenderness too. I will say, onions and peppers in this, Panda Express was onto something. That's a good combo. It's beefy, it's rich, there's a little bit of crunch, but more specifically, the sauce has depth. It's garlicky, it's rich, as opposed to just being orange chicken sauce. These are both tasty, right? And this isn't bad. This is just significantly better than what it should have been originally, but we need our taste tester, please. Yuma. What's your experience with Panda Express? I never ate it. Really? Wow. You know, most people here, they just chew twice and swallow, but Yuma, he chews on his food. He, you know, he masticates. Number two for you. Oh, Lord. The first one, you can taste everything. The beef is tender. The other one just tastes like sugar. Number one, the winner of the second one just tastes, why, why is this funny? I don't know why. They just didn't take off the blind post. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. I love you. Love you, too. <laughs> you heard it here. This is straight sugar. We already know Mr. Orange Chicken Reuse Sauce, whatever. Make it from scratch, make it original, but more specifically, make it for the B-roll.